This is a video to show modifications that were done to a CAM3 PNC3000 mill by Roland to allow it to be operated under control of Mach 3 running on a PC. It's using the standard Mach 3 program um, of the control coming out through the parallel port, the printer port, with the X, Y, Z step and direction lines. So there's the, the six lines coming out of the uh, PC. Um, and there's a uh, one of the integrated circuit chips in the back of the um, CAM3 has been pulled and a uh, replacement circuit has been put in that allows the control to be flipped between the, um, the standalone CAM3's computer and a PC running Mach 3. So if I power up the CAM3, um, as always with the CAM3 you have to have it find its home positions before it starts. And then it's right now running under the, uh, the computer in the CAM3 which is a Z80 and all of the functions run as they do out of the box. So I'll uh, move the work area out to the center. So normally I would have a, a block of wax or soft metal in here. And I would set it up and calibrate the position of the cutter relative to the workpiece. And you can use the, um, the sensor that comes with the CAM3 to set the height and get everything set up and then reset the display to zero and this is reading in the millimeters and hundredths of a millimeter and this is all under the uh, the normal operation of the of the Z80 controller in here if I push this button uh, the control flips and it now gets the signals for the motors from the Mach 3 program so if I go in here and tell it to move 10 millimeters in each direction um, the displays on here show that it's moved 10 millimeters and it exactly matches the ones in here. If I tell it to go back home again, it's all back to zeros again. Um, and again, you push the button and it's back under the control of, uh, of the, the Z80 controller. Um, I can reset the display to zeros so it all matches up. Send control back over to the Mach 3 and I've got a um, bit of g-code to cut a circle in here I can say start and it uh, follows through all the steps of g-code and the coordinate system in Mach 3 is um, I use millimeters down to a hundredth of a millimeter and it exactly matches what's on the display here and so it's now uh, cutting the circle at a certain depth it says here that it's down half a millimeter which is in agreement here And if I stop it at any point, it's uh, paused the thing on here and the coordinates all match up. So it's running fully under the PC control. Um, I'll go around back and show you what I've done. <laughs> 